Hey guys, Arpim here. Hope you're doing well, having a really great day. Chances are you are probably not GPU mining much anymore due to the lowering price of crypto, how volatile it's been. Over the past couple of weeks, we've seen Bitcoin come down to about 25,000, 26,000. It was 30,000, I would say more so a couple of weeks ago, and more so there were a lot of different proof of work coins that have done pretty well, I would say over the past, maybe past uh, two months here. But now over the past 30 days, we've actually seen a few proof of work coins go down in price, especially GPU mineable ones. Uh, we can talk about Ironfish or even the past two months, Ironfish has gone down 80%. Kyla coin, Caspa, which is, I would say more so going to be dominated by ASICs pretty soon. Radiant, Meow coin, of course, you know, the Kapow algorithm. Uh, we got Nexa, uh, Equilibria, Neoxa. So over the past two months, we've seen a lot of different proof of work coins come down, but uh, I would say to correlate with the Ethereum, since the Ethereum merge happened in September of last year, September 15th, that we are still generally up with a lot of proof of work coins like Dynex, Conflux, Caspa, Lithium, more so than Ethereum, if you were to look at it that way. But for the general purpose of this video, just to look at how things are dependent on your electrical cost, I would say, a lot of people are probably turned off right now and it, it does make sense due to the profitability uh, depending on your uh, financial situation if you are mining for profit or if you're mining for long term you know that's you know a lot of people's strategy i would say amongst a lot of people in the crypto mining community that of course i've explained a lot myself mining and hodling up until you know we see price appreciation of a lot of different cryptos in the bull run of course when bitcoin goes up but recently We've seen Bitcoin come down from 30,000 to uh, 25,000 as of recording now. So guys, I have a lot to go through. I do want to talk about uh, also my Caspa ASIC KS2 and show you guys the amount I've mined thus far. Spoiler alert, I've mined over a million Caspa thus far. I'll explain more uh, later on in this video and just go through general profitability. And I do want to go through my uh, Hive OS rigs, but just want to talk about the sentiment overall that I've been, you know, hearing about it over the past week or so, more so this downturn that we've had. So before we begin, I have a giveaway announcement uh, with the meter box and OctoMiner. They are actually giving away a OctoTank 12, an X8 Ultra, a pre-built meter boxes and Crypti merch. This is a two month long giveaway from June 1st to July 30th link down below and you guys can read all the requirements here for the giveaway for instance if you want to enter in for free there are the free 20 entries but if you want to get a thousand extra entries you can purchase a octominer box set which is on the meterbox.com link down below and this will give you obviously two meter boxes a limited edition F nft stickers keychain and a 1k entry giveaway for the octo tank x8 ultra two pre-built meter boxes or two crypto merchandise packs okay so pretty huge giveaway here feel free to enter link down below okay so judging by the title you guys probably clicked on it uh, this is one i i really wanted to Kind of gauge the whole community here i i've seen due to my youtube views my analytics and amongst all the other crypto youtubers we've seen a pretty big downturn and to correlate with that that's obviously due to uh, what's happening in the market the market conditions uh, right now bitcoin i mean everything overall has been going down thus that means profitability dependent on your electrical cost is pretty down so i'm just on the global petroprices.com just to gauge uh, general electrical costs. Uh, this is from September 2022. I couldn't find anything recent, but just scrolling down here, uh, looking at Canada, we're roughly at 11 cents. I'm going to say this has gone up, which for me, this is actually spot on at my residential rate, though, if I can hit my commercial rate of, I think of using about 35,000 watts or 150 amps or 35 kilowatt hour usage uh, for me, I can get down to about seven cents USD. But anyways, I'm going so more so for USA. 
general average electrical rate is about 18 cents. Okay, that was back in 2022. So I'm assuming now in 2023 and in the future, it, this is obviously going to go higher. And I've heard a lot of people in the States uh, have uh, their rates go up. So 18 cents being the average, obviously, uh, we'll go through the numbers here of on hashrate.no. Just for instance, looking at 18 cents per kilowatt hour, general average really no one is going to be generally going to be profitable unless you had 40 series gpus and that is if you are mining this pepe w coin which i don't think anyone is into i was looking at the uh, mining pool stats for this coin and really no one has jumped on it due to its profitability and also being a compromised uh github poor wallet thanks to chump change and yeti for doing that investigation work uh, on the walls i think that's resolved now but due diligence just beware of new coins downloading core wallets that could have malicious malware trojans what have you that could steal your crypto on the same pc that you use every day which i highly highly recommend a lot of people please use a device use a i don't know a laptop that you do nothing else but crypto or use virtual machines vms and you know how to separate that with your daily driver and especially you know hardware wallets that are connected and you have multiple core wallets together in one, you know, one machine, you know, I would say try to split that up, try to do that all separated. Anyways, to correlate with all of this, right, the electrical price that I think generally a lot of people are not mining right now due to the current market conditions. It just makes sense. And as well, that goes along with a lot of proof of work, uh, GP mineable coins have been going down over the past 24 hours. Let's say Dynex, 15%, uh, Ethereum POW, I'd say more so for ASICs. Aeon, I don't think anyone's mining Aeon, but Octaspace is down. Uh, we got Zilliqa, Conflux, okay, Cadena, ASIC mineable, Caspa, uh, still GP mineable, but is it profitable? Not for many people, uh, dependent on your electrical cost. Ravencoin, Nervos, Cortex, Beam, Dogecoin, you know, going down the list here, the past 24 hours, which you guys can access this list down below. I've kind of curated a lot of, you know, available proof of work coins that are showing up on CoinMarketCap. Not everything is here, but uh, if you guys see one that I can add, uh, let me know and I can add it to the list here. Just going down here, I mean, there there are some winners here. I like that Pigeon Coin's up like a thousand percent, but that's only a volume of, I think, like a hundred dollars or something. So don't mind that. But looking at some that have gone up over the past 24 hours and we've got meow coin 4.77 but really it's not that much to really jump up the network hash rate okay it's not going to make much of a difference because i would say over yeah over the past month here or seven day history on mining pool stats the, ha the hash rate of meow coins only gone up not not that much gone up and it's gone down and so it's really going to be fluctuating a lot because really the amount of issuance right uh, it really comes down to the 24 hour emissions of all these coins it's really not that big right and if we correlate that to what ethereum was which was i think 22 million uh below bitcoin at the time of when the merge happened that it knocked off 22 million dollars a day emission uh for all the hardware that was mining ethereum right including a6 and gpus and so with a lot of people, including myself, that have a lot of hardware that's actually offline right now, I haven't sold any GPUs. I still have a lot of my Octominers filled with GPUs. I got 30 series, I got 20 series GPUs still offline, but I do have some rigs on right now that I can personally afford to hodl. All right, I'm paying the electrical bill out of my pocket. And that's actually thanks to the ice river that I have here. Okay, I said I was going to update you guys on this. So I've mined over a million Caspa already with this ice river KS2. And looking at the uh, the Caspa network hash rate, looks like it's been fluctuating quite a bit here. I'm going to say this drop off was, I don't know, some people are saying an API error. Uh, maybe this could also be, uh, maybe they were shipping out KS2s. They, they had them on during this time. They decided to turn them off and uh, shipping them out. And now it looks like, you know, people are getting them after, you know, a couple of days, a week or so here. But it looks like it's gone down again. So I'm not quite sure what's happening here. Uh, maybe that's due to actually the price of Caspa has been fluctuating uh, a bit here as well. So if we go down the past 24 hours, I mean, it's down 8%. If we go past the seven days here, Caspa is down 16%. 30 days, it's down 48%. And 60 days, it's down 52%. So with the downward pressure here, I mean, you can see a lot of other proof of work uh, GPU mineable coins have been going down as well. It's the market in general. When Bitcoin goes down, 
in my opinion, it, it brings down the whole market when Bitcoin starts going up. Generally, then you'll see a lot of coins, especially proof of work coins, go back up. Okay, that's how I see things. People have different opinions. That's just my opinion, not financial advice. But anyways, yeah, so just wanted to give you guys a little update here. Yeah, my KS2 still currently makes about $465 a day. I pay about, I think, $3 or $2.50 a day on electric. So this thing is profiting quite a bit. So what I'm doing is I'm offsetting my electric electrical bill uh, from the profit that this KS2 is making. So that is why I'm able to mine uh, with my GPUs right now, even though I'm at 11 cent kilowatt hour. Um, if I just put in 11 cent here, um, let's just say I have I actually have a bunch of 3070 rigs on mining Dynex. So I'm currently pretty much breaking even right now on uh, mining Dynex for my 3070 rigs, but I do have some rigs that are mining iron fish, alethium. I don't think I'm breaking even on those rigs, but again, that's because I'm offsetting those costs to my ice river, right? I can expense the electric amongst the profit that this is making. All right. So, which is quite insane still currently. All right. I'm not complaining or anything. This is I'm really appreciative of Ice River for sending me one of these things, which is quite a monster. And and of course, a lot of people know the, of the KS3 that has been announced. And uh, yeah, I believe I am getting one according to Crypto Miner Bros, but potentially Ice River said they may send one out to me. They haven't confirmed it yet, but they're still figuring out uh, logistics amongst other people that have bought these. And apparently there have been huge mining farms that have been putting orders for these Ice Rivers and I guess the Bitmain uh, KS3 models as well. So that just tells me, man, there's big money about to come in for Caspa, okay, in terms of mining Caspa. Um, whether or not that's going to affect the cell, uh, I guess the cell pressure that could come from these KS3s begs the question. Okay, I, I have no idea what's going to happen if that means, you know, that's going to mean more security, obviously. Uh, once the network hash rate is going to probably like quadruple 10x, 100x, I don't know how much hash rate is going to come online. Uh, I've done the math in other videos, uh, but it's, it's going to be really scary, guys, when these I servers come online or the Bitmain ones come online it's going to render mining it with GPUs or FPGAs pretty useless. Not right now. It's still good now. Decent right now for uh, FPGAs, maybe some GPUs, but it's really, uh, it's going to get worse, right? When a lot of these ice servers come back on, but that could be in a whole other video I could explain. But anyways, uh, guys, going back to GPU mining, I've noticed that uh, I was looking at Ironfish that the hash rate for Ironfish has been coming down from like 2.3 petahash down to about 1.88. So there is a downturn here over the past seven days. I mean, that makes sense due to the price. Ironfish has generally been going down over the past two, uh, three months here. So it does, it does make sense, but more so the past seven days, there hasn't been a big drop. So that's why I'm correlating it with a lot of electrical prices around the world here, especially in the USA that, you know, it's not a fun time right now. A lot of people are turning off and I'm hearing it amongst a lot of people in the community and it's it's going to be rough right but for those that are capable of paying their electrical bill out of their pocket mining away hodling it and just you know they're just waiting for that next run up they're what they're waiting for the bull run until we see those price appreciations for those said coins that show up on this watch list here that we are all you know seeing on hash rate down no as well novo is actually another one I, I forgot to talk about there's one i was looking at novo here but uh, the network hash rate hasn't really jumped up it's gone up a little bit just a little bit but uh there's been some almost 2,000 miners mining this coin right now so that's interesting to look at okay guys i think that's it that's all i want to kind of just I guess take note of what's happening recently a lot of hardware turning off but there's also a lot of hardware on the sidelines you know getting ready to turn on such as myself i have a lot of gpus that you know i'm, I'm actually still trying to build more infrastructure at my 400 amp new mining location here as you all know keeping up with the vlogs hopefully that uh yeah i'm just trying to get ready here and i, I know a lot of people are hard pressed to do such a thing right now due to the market conditions, right? Bitcoin's been going down, depending on your financial situation, it's it, it's a hard time, right? It, it is a hard time uh, right now for a lot of people. And uh, I, I do have to stress that because it's not all 
glitz and glamour with crypto mining right now especially with gpu mining it's it's all in the red and it's it's uh it's pretty it's pretty down right I, I hate to say it depending on your situation whether or not you can continue generally overall i'm gonna say it's a lot of people who cannot continue to mine due to their situation due to the market just yeah people just don't have the cash don't have the capital to continue on with something like this it, it is pretty dire right now but for those that can stick with it through the thick and thin and believe that what you're yielding right now all the coins that you're yielding that are gonna 10x 5x 100x whatever in the next bitcoin bull run which could be upon us or could be years away who knows you know we just don't know what's going to happen obviously bitcoin having is coming up next year so that's a big monumental event uh, whether or not that keeps with the you know the cycles of the four-year cycle of bitcoin remains to be seen all right thank you all for watching let me know your thoughts down below are you still mining or are you turned off right now due to the very high electrical cost depending on where you live uh, let me know down below i'm i'm very empathetic for those people i continue to say that as much as i can because i understand right electrical cost is is a pretty big burden especially for those that are living paycheck to paycheck i understand all right thank you guys for watching i'll see you on the next video have a good one peace out